Hello everyone. Um, today I'm gonna quickly go through the drone, um, through the features and uh, everything about it after using it for a week or two, as promised. And um, yeah, let's get to it. So the first thing that people had questions was um, how to get connected to the Wi-Fi of the drone. So if you check here, it says how you get there. You, so you, you go to your phone, find the drone's name and just put in the numbers after the drone's name in your Wi-Fi and then it will be connected. So the drone, um, as, as you can see, comes with a battery, which lasts for like 15 minutes, an SD card reader, micro SD actually, and eight blades with a screwdriver and a set of extra screws, the charging cable, and four batteries go uh, go there, and yeah, that's it. So how you set it up uh, is just put in the battery like this. Open, I mean, start opening them from the top ones. So the one on the front actually. So these two go first, and then the bottom ones. It does come with a micro SD slot, so um, you can use your uh, memory cards in there and get a better quality video. The quality, I mean, it's not about the frame rate or stuff like that, but sometimes when you go far, it gets disconnected from your phone. So if you want to get a, a smooth video, that will help. So in order to start the drone, push this one and it starts flash flashing and then the remote control one up down so now it is synced and um, you can start flying by this button and um, yes um, that's all I think for now and the camera here can be adjusted so if you're um, if you decide what distance and what uh, view you want to have I mean a footage from you can easily adjust this and yeah let's go ahead and see how it works in the field so um there are a few things that i need to uh tell you about flying this drone in a field um the first one is that the range is approximately 100 meters and it does lose signal when you go far away but the good thing is when um you, uh, when it loses signal it just holds altitude and stays where it is till you get there or um till it gains back uh, the signal my recommendation is do not fly over water because if you do so you need to find a way to get there to get close to the drone to i mean get the con controls back and land it on dry areas um the other thing i noticed is that the controller is not precise and accurate so when you're moving around or um, I mean switching at viewing angles, you don't get a smooth picture because um, because of the controller. So it's nothing like the PlayStation controller. So if you just push it to the right, it just moves out of the blue, and uh, it's a little bit tricky to control it. And at the end of the day, it is a toy drone with a camera capability worth seventy five dollars. So do not expect. Um, or compare it with an advanced drone like Mavic Mini or uh, the other ones. And uh, finally, the battery lasted like 15 minutes approximately, and it is satisfying. Um, yeah, that's all I think, and everything else works as it should. And I think it was well worth the uh, $75 I've paid for it. So. Thank you guys for viewing this video. Please do not forget to like and subscribe for future reviews. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Bye.